On the 20th of March 2003, the US-led invasion of Iraq started. The rationale, Saddam Hussein had to be disarmed of weapons of mass destruction. Chemical and biological weapons, which could be activated within 45 minutes. But the road to war split the international community. Weapons inspectors were skeptical that Saddam had WMD, and many believed the war would do more harm than good, as resignation and revolt rocked the Blair government. I intend to join those tomorrow night who vote against military action now. It is for that reason, and that reason alone, and with a heavy heart, that I have resigned from the government. Not in our name was the cry. Dissent manifested itself in the form of mass protests. Baghdad fell after 22 days. Saddam would be banished, but the weapons of mass destruction were never found. The rationale for war fell apart, and the post-invasion politics saw Iraq fracture on bitter sectarian lines. The consequences were catastrophic for Tony Blair's long-term reputation. He won an election in 2005, but the legacy of the war fractured trust in politicians and cast him as the villain of a very dodgy piece. Evidence will be held in private. In this way, also evidence given by serving and former ministers, military officers and officials will, I believe, be as full and as candid as possible. Blair's successor, Gordon Brown, established the Iraq Inquiry, chaired by Sir John Chilcott back in 2009. It reported seven years later. The inquiry was scathing of the government and military, of how intelligence was deployed, and deplored the lack of post-invasion planning. Despite explicit warnings, the consequences of the invasion were underestimated. The planning and preparations for Iraq after Saddam Hussein were wholly inadequate. The government failed to achieve its stated objectives. Key questions. Was the invasion actually legal? Was the UK not just an adjunct to US foreign policy? Were politicians here too naive in accepting the case for war? And is the moral of the politics not this? Stick to fixing your own country before you invade others, with consequences that echo to this very day.